In order to understand in detail about finite element method, one should know its background and its description. So now let us see the background and the description of the finite element method or finite element analysis. So as we have uh, discussed, finite element method is used to cal uh, for a complex problem or a complex structure. So based on the complexity, few numerical methods which are commonly used to solve solid and fluid mechanical problems are given such as finite difference method, finite volume method, finite element method, boundary element method, meshless method. But out of these five uh, numerical methods, few methods are currently used nowadays. So out of those five different numerical methods, functional approximation, finite difference method or FDM, finite element method FEM or a finite element analysis is currently used nowadays for solving complex problems. Now let us see one by one how these three different methods are used for solving complex problems. The first and the foremost uh, numerical methods is functional approximation. So it uses classical methods such as Rayleigh-Ritz method and Galerkin's method. So Rayleigh-Ritz method uses variational approach whereas Galerkin method used weighted residual method. As we know this, numerical methods or approximate methods are used for solving complex problem. In functional approximation, Rayleigh-Ritz method is specifically used for solving complex structural problems in finite element analysis whereas residual method is used for solving non-structural problems. In finite difference method, it is used for heat transfer fluid mechanics in structural mechanical problems. It is a general method and can be applicable to any phenomenon for which boundary conditions are available. And this finite difference method is difficult to use when the regions are curved or irregular boundaries and it is difficult to write computer programs for solving finite difference method problems. The final numerical method or approximate method is finite element method or finite element analysis. It is a numerical method for solving problems of engineering and mathematical physics. In this method, a body or a structure is subdivided into its finite element or finite number of elements or a smaller elements with finite dimension called finite elements. Then after dividing the entire structure into finite or a smaller element, this body is considered as an assemblage of these smaller elements, which is connected by means of joints or nodes. These are called nodes or nodal points. Then the properties of finite element is obtained and assembled together and solved as a whole structure to get the solutions. So as discussed earlier, imagine the complete bridge structure. So this bridge structure will be divided into a smaller elements and the elemental properties of the bridge structure will be determined. So this individual element properties will be identified and it will be assembled in order, in order to get the solution for the whole structure which is nothing but the bridge. So basically in numerical method or approximate method by using finite element method, the whole bridge structure will be divided into a smaller elements and this element properties will be determined by using FEA, FEA and each and every individual element will be grouped known as assemblage of these elements as the assemblage of this element will represent a complete bridge structure. So this analyzing the individual element will be involved by using finite element analysis and after determining or analyzing the individual element, this will be assembled together in order to get the solution for the entire bridge structure. So in a simple term, finite element method involves by formulating the equations for each finite element or a smaller element and then it is combined to obtain the solution for the whole structure or the body. So in order to visualize how this finite element method works, let us, say, let us take a small fixed beam. So this fixed beam will be divided into a smaller elements. The shape which looks like a triangle or a quadrilateral is considered to be an element and that is connected by means of a joints called as nodes. So the properties of this element will be identified and the number of elements that is involved in dividing the entire beam will be assembled and the solution will be obtained for the whole structure. So in short, this individual element will be analyzed and that will be added together for the entire structure. So finite element analysis or finite element method is nothing but identifying the smaller elements which is obtained as a result of dividing the entire fixed beam into a smaller element. So this smaller element will be analyzed and the solution of this smaller element will be combined for every other, mid every other element to get the solution for the entire fixed beam. Now let us classify finite element problems based on its application. So based on the application of finite element problems, it is categorized into structural problems and non-structural problems. In structural problems, 
the displacement at each nodal points or the joints are obtained from the displacement the stresses and the strains in each element can be calculated whereas in non structural problems the temperature or fluid pressure at each nodal point is obtained by using these values the properties such as heat flow fluid flow for that particular element can be calculated so finally the finite element method is can be defined as a numerical technique used to perform finite element analysis for any given physical phenomenon so as we have discussed earlier the finite element method or finite element analysis is a numerical technique to find an approximate solution by using partial differential equations it was actually originated to solve a complex elasticity and structural analysis problem in civil mechanical and aerospace engineering in a structural simulation finite element method helps in producing a stiffness and strength visualization before constructing the actual structure or a model so by using finite element method it helps to minimize the material weight and its cost of the structure it also allows for a detailed visualization and indicates the distribution of the stresses and the strains inside the body of a structure even before its construction or designing in finite element analysis all the complex problems such as wearing shape boundary conditions and loads are maintained as they are in the structure but the solution obtained are approximate since finite element method it's a numerical approach it uses software tools but these software tools are powerful but complex in nature it a, a professional engineers with the training and education is necessary to properly interpret the results from the software Several modern finite element method packages include specific components such as fluid, thermal, electromagnetic and structural working environments. The main benefit of finite element method is it allows the entire design to be constructed and it can be redefined and optimized before the design is actually manufactured. The use of finite element method has significantly decreased the time taken to to produce from the concept to the production line. So there are plenty of commercially available finite element software uh, packages in the market but the most common and widely used software packages are StatPro, Ansys, Autodesk, DSCFD, Comsol, MATLAB, Abacus, Adena and LS Dyna. So these software packages are used to analyze complex structures. So based on the nature of the structure the software tools can be used. For example if I if I need to calculate the stability of the structure I can use ANSYS and if I need to use mathematical equation I can easily use MATLAB to get the solution for those mathematical equation for instance if I need to calculate uh, the fluid pressure inside the pipe that carries a uh, fluid Autodesk uh, CFD can be used so based on the nature of the solution or the nature of the complexity software packages can be used by using finite element analysis since the ultimate aim is to calculate the unknowns in terms of stresses strains and deformation in the structure uh, appropriate software tool will be used by the engineers to analyze the complex structure